we're going to start in the Samsung SmartThings application and you have to go in there and then you can tap on the get started page. Then you will go into create account and you will have to agree to the different terms and conditions that they have. So go ahead and read those as you see fit. Next, you will want to create a Samsung account. If you don't already have one, you're going to have to fill out these details. And then when you hit the next button at the bottom of this page, you're going to be requested to provide a code that came into your email so go ahead check that email account you use and you will find actually three different emails is what I found but then you have to type in a six digit code that is on one of those now once you are done that what you're going to get is this page where you've just logged in and now you are ready to start. Now they offer you two-step verification, which is a very good idea to do these days, but that's not the point of this basic setup tutorial. I'll just tell you that two-step verification means that you get text messages anytime you try to log in to that account, and that means people really cannot get into your account without having access to your smartphone. Now, you have My Home up, and this is the basic screen, or this is the start of your whole Samsung account. So what you're going to do is tap on the plus, and this will start the process of adding a device. Next, you're going to go into Smart Things and you can choose Wi Fi or Hub. Then you're going to choose the Smart Things Hub 2018. That's the V3 edition. If you had the 2015, that's the V2. Now, they give you some little details here before you set up your device of turning off a switch to mobile data. That is a good thing to follow, and you can have a look at that. I didn't actually have to turn that off in order to get this working, but that's definitely some instructions you could follow. Now, the next thing is rooms. You can go ahead and add a room, and you can add custom rooms, but if you see the room name that you're putting your hub in, go ahead and select that, and then you can select a wallpaper for that room. And once you've done that, you are then going to get into the actual hub setup process when you hit the next button. Now they want you to geolocate where you are and that should automatically go to where you're sitting. Now, how are you connecting the hub? This is a critical spot. So the V3 hub allows you to connect by Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So Ethernet is the cables you can connect into, but you can also just put it anywhere in your home and then attach it to the Wi-Fi signal throughout your home. And honestly, for most people, it's not going to matter what your choice is here in terms of the speed, in terms of the X execution as long as you have a good Wi-Fi system you can definitely use that now I'm going to choose Wi-Fi because that's the hardest way to do this hub setup and now they tell you to connect the power cable and then hit next again now you have to wait a few minutes and you could have connected your power cable a few minutes ago but it's got to be blinking red and green and once it is and the app recognizes this you have to scan the QR code on the back now that was actually a little bit tricky for me to get to work with an Android phone but it just takes a little time and you saw how I kind of pulled back the next thing they're going to ask you to is which Wi-Fi network you're going to connect to obviously this step would not exist if you were connected to Ethernet but then you're just putting in your credentials to your Wi-Fi which is really just selecting it and then putting in your password and you are now registering that hub to Samsung smart things and it will go through a download update and an installation of that update process, but you are done the basic setup of your Samsung SmartThings V3 hub. Now that you're done the basic setup, you need to see more about the whole system, so check out our other videos on SmartThings here.